We're heading right now to County Road 5 out of Ridgeway in the San Juan Mountains, one of the very classic fall color locations here. As we're driving up through Ridgeway, uh, pay attention to speed limit, it's only 25, so it's not, it's not very fast and uh, you're gonna be able to pay attention here. We're coming up here to South Amelia Street as you can see right here, we're going to turn left as we're heading out of Ridgeway on County Road 62. So, let's see, we've got to wait for these guys and then we'll get going. One thing you'll notice right away as we get on any of the off roads is that just if you thought 25 was slow, all of these side roads are only 15 so it's even slower so you're gonna watch right here you'll see county road 5 begins right as it turns right here no big fanfare but there it is we'll start heading up this way go by some small little ranches as we go up just you can see here the cottonwoods and stuff are starting to turn yellow down at these yellow these lower elevations See how pretty it is here with these trees and the road as it continues to wind in through the hills and next to the different ranch properties. It's a very beautiful sight. This is typically going to be a sunrise shot, though you could shoot sunset at the end of County, five, or County Road 5 where we're going. There you go. The road's not too rough here, but a fair warning, if it gets wet, do not come on County Road 5. This road, big parts of it are just clay, and uh, it gets extremely dangerous. This, even this incline here may not seem like much, especially through the video, but um, I've heard stories of people doing donuts and stuff because their tires just get clogged up with the clay, okay. and you it's definitely have to judge it yourself, but um, I would just say if it's any kind of rainfall at all, do not come on County Road 5. All right, we pulled off and stopped for a second. About, about mile marker four, somewhere in there, I think. And uh, you'll see just a really beautiful shot. It's a little windy. Things are blowing around a little bit, so you're gonna make sure you keep your shutter speed high enough as you're shooting here. But look at how beautiful this looks right here. That so that was a very worthwhile stop there. I got some really great shots there. Road winding up through the fall colored hills that was definitely worth stopping for and we're here we are it's a little past mile marker six you can see if i pull back a little bit get the sun off you can see though there's snuffles right there you can see the the view is starting to open up right here we've stopped again just a little bit past mile marker seven this is a nice spot to shoot from. Not a lot of people will shoot from here. Uh, the better views up ahead. But this is definitely a place worthwhile stopping to go. Look As we continue along here, you'll see the road splits off here. 5A is to the left. Some residential stuff there. And 5 is over this direction. Um, the road now has definitely gotten narrower and a little bit rougher. Definitely gets rougher through here. So you have to watch what you're driving. Make sure it can handle these roads. But now we're going through a little forested section. This is a great section for, for shooting those tree-lined roads that end up looking so good. And here somebody's coming. It's a little narrow here, but we'll get by them. Okay, we're getting closer here. This is the area where most people end up shooting their fall colors. Definitely beautiful here. Look through the window. And you'll see there a little bit. Right now, what the issue here is this road is really narrow. So especially in the morning, uh, people will be parking on the side of the road as tight as they can against these trees. But if you can see here, it will then only leave one lane left open for people going up or down to go by. You could park so. further up, I guess, or park further down and then walk up or down if you want but usually people will end up 
parking along the area where they end up wanting to shoot. As you can see, there's lots of different areas to go shoot here. A lot of different compositions on how you want to compose. So you can down here's a nice little parking area. We'll stop here. Some people will park right up in this one area here, and then you can get out and shoot. Walk around. We'll go a little bit further here. So it's going to open up down here a little bit. There's going to be a bigger parking area. So you can park on the side of the road if you can or if you want. And then right down here at the bottom of this hill, there's lots of room to pull off and just park up in the dirt and stuff. And that's what I'm going to do right here for a second. So we're outside. Lots of people will shoot from down here right along here. A little windy, so hopefully you can hear me. But you can see the range there. You can see the aspens turning colors. So the whole range, for the most part, is open up. A little bit in the middle is blocked by the hill. And right across from here, right by where we parked, you'll see some of this really cool wooden fencing that they have along here. It's also a neat area to shoot. You don't get the mountains in the view, but you can definitely get where you're working these fence lines, working the aspens that are here, some of the scrub oak. Uh, just... So as we finish this main area here, which is where the majority of people will stop and shoot sunrise, and it is an awesome sunrise spot. It's, it's uh, also a really good uh, sunset shot that also works because the range here runs east to west so it will work also for sunset as for sunrise but we're gonna... all right we're going to continue on now here there are also some really good spots up here now the road's going to get a little bit crazy so um, here's somebody coming back you can see they they're driving their little car so you can go a ways here but there is a point where the road starts getting really rough and you're going to want four wheel drive something with somewhat some clearance as you can see here. all right so as we go here you're going to see the road's going to start getting a little a little rougher a little bumpier a little more inclined you can tell why that one car turned around i didn't want to chance this and it's a good thing because there's because we come up around this rise and around this bend again look at the views this is a great place to stop and Shoot these couple peaks over on this side. Build on the window. You see out there. And here we are now, finally on the National Forest land. You see a little sign there. So you can camp back here if you can get back here. And then you just continue up here. But you can see, hopefully, you can see that this road is getting a lot rougher. Definitely want to watch what you're driving. Not worth getting stuck up here. You don't want to have the vehicle that can handle it. Here we'll add on. We're coming back downhill out of the five, County Road five, and you'll see man, just the winds blowing all these aspen leaves down. Road is definitely rough, but worthwhile if you can get back here and you have the vehicle to get back here in. You want to go slow. You want to be cautious. It's very narrow. A lot of spots here are only room for one vehicle.